가족들한테 얘기하고 나서 반응이 어떻나요? 아 외국인이랑 결혼하고 싶다. 처음에는 우리 부모님은 좀 시리어서 생각 안 했어요. Just friend or 가벼운 relationship? Can you briefly tell me, you know, like how you guys met? I got set up on a blind date by a stranger. Yep. <laughs> oh. What's it like, you know, just raising kids in Korea? He has. what they call yuga hyujik and he gets to have three years per child so he's been stay-at-home dad can you guys briefly introduce yourself yep my name is diana you guys are a beautiful family your kids are amazing can you briefly tell me you know like how you guys met and how long have you guys been married for oh gosh I, i'll tell the story it's kind of an interesting story but basically when i first came to korea well i came for the second time in 2018 and i was at a bar near my house actually Um, I was ordering a drink and there was an older guy at the bar. He was like in his 60s, but for some reason he spoke fluent English. <laughs> and he asked me how old I was and he asked me if I was interested in somebody that he knew. So I got set up on a blind date by a stranger. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. That's basically how it happened. Yeah. So his name was Mr. Lee and he ended up being uh, his supervisor from the past. Yeah, and so I just got set up that way. Did Mr. Lee, you know, I like showed you his photo beforehand? Yeah, he showed me his picture. Um, he told me he was a firefighter, which I was into. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. And he's good looking. And so, um, yeah, he set us up on a blind date. And we all hung out together for the first time. So it was Mr. Lee, Ki Hyung, and I. And it was interesting. My Korean wasn't that good at the time, but it's improved a lot just from being with him. So, so like, did he speak like any English like when you guys met? He knows a lot of English. I mean, you know, Koreans know a lot of English they study so hard in school so he couldn't really speak it too well but if I said something in English he would know what it meant so yeah we kind of just worked with Konglish in the beginning Papago was our best friend Papago is a <laughs> translating app <laughs> if I didn't have my phone I felt like I was gonna die because I was like I can't talk to him it was like really awkward yeah. but and I thought maybe you know we would just like hang out and he could show me around Korea but I didn't really expect it to be like super long term I guess yeah. and then Here we are. 혹시 그 첫인상 어때요? 어떤나요? 첫인상은 너무 아름다웠어요. 진짜 좀 shocked. 깜짝 놀랐어요. 지금도 좀 이쁘긴 한데 처음에는 진짜 그냥 어 너무 설명 못해요. 너무 이뻤어요. 그럼 언제 어떤 순간은 아이 사람이 결혼하고 싶다. 우선 대화가 너무 좋았고 그 다음에 항상 저를 편하게 만들어줬어요. I can trust her 100%. 그래서 결혼 생각했어요. 안내분 만나기 전에 혹시 뭐 외국인 처음 그냥 외국인 한국말 안 하는 사람은 처음 봤어요. 외국 사람 찾은 적 없고 정말 우연히 만났어요. 진짜 상상 못 했어요. 외국인 만나는 거는. 외국인이다 보니까 그럼 그 가족들한테 얘기하고 나서 반응이 어떻나요? 아, 외국인이랑 결혼하고 싶다. 처음에는 우리 부모님은 좀 시리어서 생각 안 했어요. 시리어서 think 안 했어요. 그냥 just friend or 가벼운 relationship. 근데 나중에 결혼을 말했을 때좀 깜짝 놀랐어요. 우리 엄마 아빠는. 근데 다 괜찮았어요. 엄마 아빠가 우리 와이프 너무 좋아해서 큰 프로블럼 없었어요. His mom is amazing. <웃음> 엄마 사랑해요. <웃음> yeah, she she loves me and she takes such good care of me and the babies and she's she always tells me how much like how happy she is that I'm with her son. So, yeah, she makes us food all the time and takes care of the babies for us. So we have a really good relationship. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And how are you able to like communicate with your husband's mother? Um, we speak Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hungry man has to be sorry. 그래도 yeah. 아빠랑 말하면 조금 힘들어요. 왜요? 아빠는 경상도 분이니까 어, 그, 하, 사투리 있어, 있어요. 네, 그래서 아빠 말하면 진짜 어, 이해하는 건 너무 힘들어요. 근데 엄마는 평택 사람이니까 좀 편하게 말할 수 있어요. 그럼 한국말을 어떻게 배우게 되셨나요? 어, 한국 오기 전에 배웠어요. 네, 한국 오기 전에 배웠는데 그렇게 잘 못했어요. 근데 남편 만화 때 우리 거의 한국말만 했어요. <웃음> 아주 이쁜 딸님 두명내 있어가지고 혹시 그럼 그 어떻게 소통을 하나요? 저는 한국말하고 
와이프는 영어 해서. Yeah, bilingual. Yeah, that's our goal is for them to be bilingual. And Seoul, I mean, she speaks both languages. She goes to a Korean daycare, so there she speaks Korean. With him, she speaks Korean, but I speak only English to her. Sometimes Korean comes out just because it's like natural for my husband and I to speak Korean together. Yeah, she's really like learning and picking up both languages really well. How long did you guys date for? And how long have you guys been married for? Um, we dated. Well, we met in 2018, um, so we've been together about five years, um, and then after about two years, we got married. How did you know, like, okay, I want to get married, like, to this man? I just kind of same like he felt like I just felt like I could trust him. He's very protective. Like people kind of joke when we're walking together, he's like my bodyguard. <laughs> like <laughs> he really takes care of me and like makes sure I'm safe. Um, and he thinks about me like all the time. Like he thinks about me before anything else. I could just tell, I mean, like he cared about me a lot and that's more than I felt with anybody else in my life. So I was just like, oh, he's the one. He's a protector and he's gonna be a good husband and a good dad, so. Are there any struggles of like being in an interracial marriage in, in Korea? 일단은 communication. 아무리 한국말 잘해도 그 sometimes 그 misunderstanding 있어요. 그래서 그것 때문에 작은 파이트하고 그런 것. I mean, in any relationship, communication is hard, but with the adding the bilingual layer to it, it's like even harder. 여기 한국이니까 한국 사람이 다 해야 돼요. Mm. Paperwork, health insurance or daycare, vaccine, our baby's vaccine or yeah. Like that? <laughs> At the health checks, like, you know, I can understand Korean to an extent, but when the doctor starts talking really fast, I'm just like, I just kind of like tune out and he has to be the one to focus on everything. So for him, I think he gets more stress and it's harder for him. <laughs> and I remember before we started the relationship, I was like, are you sure? Are you sure about this? Because you're going to have to do everything. Like you have to handle all the Korean stuff. I mean, I'm going to try my best to learn the language um, and I'm still getting there. I can do a lot of things by myself. But um, I was just like, are you sure about this? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's no problem. I could do it. And now I think he gets, he sees the frustration more. That it's like really happening. Yeah. How was your wedding like? We didn't have a wedding. We didn't have a wedding. Finally, just cancel. Like, do you guys have plans on like doing a ceremony like later on? Mm, I don't know. I don't really think so. At this point, we already have two kids. I feel like it would be kind of. It's just too late, I feel. Mm. But we did have, um, before Corona, we had uh, an engagement party in the States. What's it like, you know, just raising kids in Korea? I mean, there's a lot of benefits. Like, it's it's awesome, yeah. Well, first of all, childcare is, is free um, in Korea. Almost free. For some reason where we live, we have to pay a little fee, but it's still, like, very cheap compared to in the U.S. When we go out in public, that's interesting because people always stare at us. <laughs> I mean, when we were just a couple, we got a lot of stares. Um, but now it's like people look at him and they look at me and then they automatically look at the stroller like, oh, what do those babies look like? <laughs> and so, and it's always like a, like a, wow, oh, yippo, oh, cute, like that. It's like everybody's like wants to look at our babies, which it's like, it's, it's nice, you know, people, people have interest in us. Yeah. Sometimes it can be a little bit too much. Yeah, it's because I wonder how that will affect them growing up. Mm. Like, of course, it's nice to get compliments and things like that. But I do wonder how that's going to affect them in the future. And then sometimes we do get some looks that look kind of like dirty, like a what's going on here type of look. But for the most part, it's positive. Uh, Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about perks of living in Korea with babies. He has what they call yuga hujik. It's, yeah, it's like a paternity leave, I guess you would call it. Um, and he gets to have three years per child. Yeah, so um, because of his job, he's able to take that time off so actually he's been at home it will be three years total by the time that he's done with it next year yeah so he's been stay-at-home dad like amazing and i've been working the full time yeah so i only get three months of maternity leave where he can take all this time so we just made the decision that he would stay at home with the children um so he raised her at home um, until she went to daycare. So she's going to daycare now, but he still like gets her ready for school and then takes care of Luna during the day. And it's really amazing. <laughs> what are the name of your kids? Like, of course, if you guys are open to sharing it. Yeah, yeah. so um, our oldest one is Sol and our youngest one is Luna. So it's sun and moon and 
Spanish. Um, but also we just wanted to choose names that you could, you know, easily write in Korean and it translates well in both languages. And we have our sun and our moon. So it's really, it's, and it, it matches their personalities too, because Seoul, our older one, and she's very fiery personality. <laughs> yeah. She looks very... Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> she looks cool. Oh, yeah. She's, she's wild. Yeah, she loves to climb on things, and she screams and yells, but she's also really warm. Like, she loves to cuddle and things like that. Luna is, like, very calm. I mean, right now, you can't... It looks like she's wild, but she is very calm um, compared to Seoul, I would say. Yeah, okay. She sleeps well, and... She does not like to be cuddled in hell. She doesn't like to be held down. Do you guys plan on living in Korea for the longest period of time? 네, 한국에서 계속 살것 같아요. 저희는 제가 미국에 가면 제가 할수 있는 일이 없을 것 같고 그리고 와이프도 여기서 이제 거의 퍼머넌트 앞 있으니까 우리는 여기서 계속 살수 있는 것 같아요.